Hi, I'm Pox. Welcome to the Two Smart Guys Show, where every week we bring you the latest and greatest in technology, news, hacks, mods. Uh, this week I'm bringing you a step-by-step -step on how to hack the new Wii U. So, to be honest with you, this is really just the same hack that was working on the old Wii that has been modified to work with inside the Wii emulator slash module thingy, the virtual Wii on the Wii U. It's pretty straightforward. The things you need. You need a Wii U. You also need a game with an exploit in it. So there's about half a dozen of these right now. Basically, they're all the Lego games. You got Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Star Wars, Yu-Gi-Oh! game, or uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, which we did a, on a previous episode. Uh, today we're going to do the Lego Batman exploit bat hacks. So, you need Wii U, the Batman Lego game, Bat Hacks Exploit, available in our show notes, and the Hack Me Installer, also available in our show notes. First thing you need to do is take an SD card, I guess you also need an SD card, a regular SD card, not an HSD card. So this is any SD card that's under 2 gigabytes is usually just a plain SD card. Format as FAT16 or FAT32. Pretty easy to do inside of Windows or anything. Just make sure the format says FAT. Okay, so if you've been playing LEGO Batman, you want to back up any game save, move it to the SD card anywhere just so you, you'll have a fresh start on this SD card. The next thing you need to do is open up the Bat Hacks archive and copy over the private folder to the root of the SD card. And on your archive for the Hack Me installer, you want to copy over the boot.elf file to the root of the SD card. Now your SD card is all ready to go. You can pop it in your Wii and you can go to Wii Options, Data Management, Wii Data, Wii, and this is inside of the Wii Virtual Console. And there you can go to the SD card, select the Bat Hacks game save with your country. So in our case, US, we'll copy it over to the Wii. Now you'll just go into Lego Batman. So make sure you've ran the game once before you do this whole process. After it loads up, go ahead and load the game save that we just copied to the Wii. You'll end up in the Bat Cave, take the elevator on the right side, then go into the trophy room, go to the upper corner through the door and, or and enter Wayne Manor. Now you can select a character. Just choose the last enabled one in the lowest row. So as soon as you just scroll over to it, bam, the exploit runs, and this takes a little while you'll get some text and eventually you'll be asked to press one to install the homebrew channel and that's it you now have the homebrew channel on your wii u inside of the virtual wii console now you can you know go get all your homebrew that you want throw it on the sd card and load it up on your wii u play old games and emulators fun things uh please post in the comments below what else you'd like to see us cover on the show if there's anything you Heard that might be coming out at CES. I'm probably going to go down there uh, in, in two weeks, one week. Stay tuned, twosmartguys.com. Every Monday, we try and put out a new show. Every Wednesday at 8.30 Mountain Time, we do a live show at twosmartguys.com slash live. So check it out. Please subscribe to the feed that helps us out a bunch. We'll see you guys next week. This has been the Two Smart Guys Reductions.